of Cork and Kilkenny at least have the pleasure of savouring the very special atmosphere of All-Ireland Day. And straight away it's Bill Hennessy breaking a chance to apply some pressure. Good recovery work by Pat Buckley. Liam McCarthy trying to force it across towards DJ Carey looking for the first score of the match. A beautiful shot from DJ Carey was sailing over the crossbar. The perfect start playing against the wind. Kilkenny hit the front. Well struck inside there by Shawnee McCarthy in towards Kevin Hennessy. Flicked away well again. Nice break forward here by Pat Dwyer. Dennis Walsh out there attacking the ball, supported by Tomas Mulcahy. Shawnee McCarthy again looking to put his side on level terms. Lovely delivery sent over the bar to settle up this match. Hungering forward towards Eamon Morrissey. Can he be the decisive factor in this match yet? Sean O'Gorman watching it all the way, taking it around the attentions of Jamesy Shiner Brennan, who has yet to impress in this game, has seen very little of the action. DJ Carey, always influential, tapping it nicely over the bar. The puck out going into the half-back line, Bill Hennessy back there to augment the trio. Out to Teddy McCarthy and over the bar it sails. The Brawleys are out here, Frank Murphy bringing the Hawk umbrella for the Michael O'Brien there with a kind of uh, Alaska-type jack jacket on his shoulders. Nice, the inside towards James E. Brennan, quiet so far, trying to thunder his way through. Ball's got lost and the referee signalled that it's a penalty, I think, for that dangerous challenge on James E. Brennan. And tempers flaring somewhat. Be interesting to see what Kid Kenny do, Jar. Will they go for a goal playing against the breeze? They're only three points down. This is DJ Carey at a significant stage of the match coming up to hit the penalty and score. Four minutes before half time. DJ Carey, a goal and two points. Kid Kenny's only scorer. A giant sized task on their hands. They've got to pull this one out of the park. They have a chance, and Kevin Hennessy kicks, and he's put it over the bar. Eddie O'Connor having difficulty, but supported well. Pat Dwyer getting the ball out, but the referee, Dickie Murphy, from Enniscorthy and Wexford, blowing the final whistle of the first half. The half-time score, Cork, seven points. Kilkenny, one goal and two. Shawnee McCarthy batting it down at the centre of the field. Well fed back by Michael Fielder to Pat O'Neill, a day for rolling up the sleeves and doing the simple things well by both teams in towards Big Christie, we marked in there by Dennis Mulcahy, John Parr foraging, John Parr breaking through, and John Parr scoring! Again. After just about three and a half minutes of the second half. Well, this is just the impact Christie Heffern makes, his very presence breaks up the play and John Parr snaps it up. Kilkenny's DJ Carey, shouldered by Jim Cashman. Again, DJ, fleet-footed and sticking it over the bar. Picked up by DJ Carey. A long, relieving ball by DJ Carey, down towards Christy Heffernan. Heffernan against Dennis Mulcahy. Was there a bit of jersey tugging? The referee says, play away. Mulcahy on towards Jim Cashman. Cashman has left the ball behind. It's gone back to Christy Heffernan again. The shot, and it's gone sailing over the bar. Pat Hartnett beaten for it by DJ Carey. Fumbled in there by Pat Buckley, and it's the other number eight feeling who takes it inside towards Liam McCarthy, and it's gone in! A goal by Liam McCarthy! Met by Pat Hart and whipped back in again. Two Kilkenny men go for the one ball down towards Joe Manley. Manley raiding, quick leading a goal, they get it! Manley, the goal scorer, towards Adrian Ronan, battling the whole time with Brian Corcoran. Ronan tried to deny Corcoran space, it succeeds. In comes Michael Phelan. Kilkenny wanting to hold on now to their three-point advantage and lift their first McCarthy Cup for nine years. That looks good, it's excellent, and Ronan has put it over the bar. The Kilkenny backs group well, their forwards have taken their chances, we're in injury time, Kilkenny lead by four points, Cork again looking for a late, late score, but it's Willie O'Connor who drops it out of defence, down towards Liam Fennery, runs on towards Christy Heffernan, the big Glenn Moore man, looking about him, needing a secure pass, didn't get it, it's all over! And Kilkenny have won the 1992 All-Ireland Hurling Final. Ollie Welch and Ted Carroll celebrate. It's a very proud moment for Liam Fennery, the McCarthy Cup goes back to Northside. It'll be back at the Marble 
City tomorrow night. Kilkenny, the champions of 1992. It's the 121st All-Ireland Hurling Final in this, the 125th year of the GAA. A lot of pressure on uh, Woodlock and McGrath coming into this match in the middle of the park. I mentioned in the scenes that their form had been somewhat patchy. That was McGrath again, getting it in now as far as Owen Kelly. After him is Jackie Terrell. Has the composure, has the accuracy, has that skill to put it over the bar. It's Tommy Welch gets the catch there, gets away from Woodlock. Tommy Welch settling himself, having a go, firing it in, but putting the ball over, over the, the bar. bar. Yes, it's made it. The umpire was tantalising us for a moment. Tipped there in numbers with... Uh, Brent Porrick Maher and helped out here by Declan Fanning in the green helmet. Gets it away towards Lark Corbett. Lark chasing after this one. Taking it down that wing. They're all after him. Richie Powers after him. Can't get to him. Lark strikes and Lark hits an absolute beauty. A third for Lark Corbett. Back once more. Richie Hogan in there. Didn't quite handle it, but it comes instead to Richie Power, who is immediately behind him and anticipating. Declan Fanning now chasing after it, powers after it again, hasn't scored so far, he'd love a point. And that's beautifully put over the bar. Half-time has uh, gone here, the half-time whistle, Kilkenny 13 points, Tipperary 11. In there towards Noel McGrath, they'll be hoping to get more from him or from Kerwick. Here's Kerwick, has got a lot of pace, cleverly playing it inside to Calnan, goal chance! What a save, an amazing stop by PJ Ryan. Top drawer. Further out as far as Declan Fanning, and incrementally they get it in towards the forward line. Over the head of Noel McGrath. Coming to take it here is Lark Over three points in the first half. Back in again. It really was a superb save. Absolutely brilliant. Taken brilliantly by Michael Kavanagh, a commanding figure, playing today in his 10th All-Ireland Hurling Final. Getting it out into the middle as far as Derek Ling, feeding it forward there towards Aidan Fogarty, he hasn't scored so far. Looking for his first score, back out as far as Richie Hogan, got one in the first half, where will this land? It lands over the bar! Well it happened with Tyrone a couple of weeks ago against Cork and it might well be happening for Kilkenny as well, but they have a lot of time. We're in the 17th minute of the second half. Lark Horvath from a huge distance. He can do little wrong this afternoon. Will Kilkenny add to their 31 titles so far? Will Tip get their 26th? Coming through here, Henry Shefflin. And that one is over the bar somehow. Eight for Henry Shefflin. Oh, a slip by Conor O'Mahony. Here's an opportunity. Fed inside there, in for power. Trying to get away from the attentions of a couple of players, one of them Paul Curran, and it's a penalty. Cummins is ready. Shefflin is as well. He's got eight points so far. They need it. It's in the back of the net. Henry Shefflin cracks in his 22nd ever championship goal, and it's 119 to 21 points. Now, will that energise Kilkenny, who were giving second best, but were never prepared to give way completely to Tipperary? Back come the team looking for four in a row. Back comes Owen Larkin. One point so far. In for Coverford. It's in the back of the net. Two in a row. The game has turned around, and the substitute, Martin Coverford, scores in the 64th minute. It's two goals, one from a penalty, one from play, in the space of 60 seconds. This time it's John Tennyson, another man with a red helmet on the half-back line, getting it out there as far as TJ Reid. Huge one back down towards Eddie Brennan, batted out there by Porik Maher, the full-back for Tipperary, has played his heart out. Looks to be tiring, however. This time it's collected by Richie Power and Kilkenny have time, they have the lead, they have the ball as well to Owen Larkin, and they have a point, and Larkin's got a third, and surely now, that's a winning score, the two minutes have almost now been played by match referee Dermot Kerwin, that bounces back out here again towards McGrath, comes back once again and it's collected by Tommy Wells, Tommy Wells has the ball, Kilkenny have the trophy, it's Kilkenny who are the All-Ireland champions for 2009, fourth year in a row to a Kilkenny captain, Liam Fennelly, Michael Fennelly rather.